everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Until Dawn. We're starting off March, and this is a new month, and we're going to do something different this month. Uh, last month we did the Sin Cane, which is great. Um, you can actually keep doing the Sin Cane if you want. This month is all about, um, well, I, I always tell my students um, that uh, there's art and there's craft. And when you're talking about poetry, a lot of the art is what happens inside of you. And it's a lot of the way that you're seeing things, a lot of the way that you're experiencing thing, things. What we're going to do... <laughs> <laughs> I think Lizzie's experiencing the world in a very wonderful way. Yeah. <laughs> well, what we're going to be doing this month. <laughs> Should I just keep going? Yeah, keep okay. going. What we're going to be doing this month is uh, our month of, of radical amazement. And uh, the, the real poet, the art of poetry, is what happens on the inside of the person. It's. Uh, for, for a lot of it, it's, you know, this this moment of spiritual growth, emotional growth, psychological growth, whatever you want to call, call it, it's just that, that growth. And then the craft is what happens on the paper. Um, and part of being a poet, um, at least the way that I've always conceived it, is walking around with your eyes open and having what's called radical amazement. You probably should play with that. Uh, Lizzie has got the soul of, of a poet, and she plays with paper bags, right? Uh, and she's dealing with, with radical amazement about everything, which is great. That's how you should live, Lizzie. Um, and so we're, we're going to try to try to live this life of radical amazement, Say, seeing all these things that are right in front of us and are amazing, but we sometimes are, are blind to see. So uh, we're going to start off, at the beginning of the month, we're going to start off with things that are small. And I'm going to give you stuff, stuff to think about and uh, look at, and just be amazed with, it, with, with the, the minor scale of things. Or, or things in the minor scale, right? Uh, so, what, what can we start off with? I think we can start off with, with leaves. And what's actually going on with, with a leaf. Now, this could be a leaf of grass. This could be a leaf uh, on a tree. It could be whatever kind of leaf you want to do. And so, how would I do this? Well, if I were doing this, first thing I do is I go outside and I, uh, I deal with some leaves, right? Go, go and take a look at one of these things and um, really get close to it. Or, if you're me, I'm on the third floor. You can see out there we're on a, on a high balcony up here. And I have a tree that comes right up here. And I get a view of trees that most people don't get. I get these, these leaves right here with the, uh, in the can we're up in the canopy layer of, of the trees. And so I might take a look at that. So it might be at a distance too. Um, I was, uh, I'm just shocked by the, the leaves that are going during a Santa Ana or, or a, a rainstorm, just watching a huge giant tree just going back. It's, but of course, it's not really giant, it's just a bunch of small leaves doing, doing this all kind of in concert. Okay, so, that's probably, probably my poem. My poem is going to be that imagistic quick little leaf uh, in the rainstorm, going back and forth, swaying uh, hundreds of feet. Uh, now you can think of... Uh, Robert Frost did this in Birches and about the whole tree going back and forth. I'm just going to focus on the one thing. You can also do a memory of leaves. Um, uh, I, I can remember climbing the orange tree in my parents' backyard when I was a kid. And uh, you get way up there and there start to be thorns up there and, and dealing with those those leaves up, up amongst the thorns. That'd be a really cool memory of, of trees or, or memory of leaves up there. And just something quick and imagistic and just t try to capture that moment. Those are going to be the ones, the one moments that are really just absolutely stunning. If you wanted to go from there, if you wanted to branch out from there, that's great. So you can, you can start off with that, oh, branch, I got it. Uh, you can start with that, that memory of leaf and then kind of just go into a memory and end up with something like birches, you know. Uh, if you have never read birches before, check it out online. Okay, so that's what our month is going to be. It's going to be radical amazement. Uh, which is, I think, just the right way for all people to live. All right, Lizzie and I and Annie will see you tomorrow in 30 days. We'll done.